Well, good afternoon, guys. It's quarter to four on Monday, the 21st of January today. As you can see, back down the private stretch. Uh, if you've seen any of the other previous videos, you'll um, recognize it, I'm sure. Predator fishing again after the fantastic session I had last week. Um, so, uh, not quite a week ago now, last Tuesday. Uh, with that 19 odd pound pike, fantastic. Um, as I say, here again, the weather's a lot different this week. Um, it's a lot colder. Um, the water's a lot colder as well. I've yet to do the temperature, but uh, I did have a walk down the lock yesterday and stuck my finger in it and it's a lot colder. <laughs> um, so we're here, as I say, for the predators again. Um, I've got one pike rod in inverted commas and my two barbel rods, which is under fishing. Although bait wise probably not going to be too much difference between them all uh, but if i do use any sea baits they'll certainly be on the uh, on the pike rod uh, but at the moment i've got um, a roach on two of the rods and i've got a smelt on the other rod um, smallish baits which i do favor because i'm using these circle hooks as well so um, if you said it in the previous videos uh, i'm giving circle hooks a go um, so i won't be striking either just be winding down to the fish they do seem to be working quite well and it's very easy to unhook the fish as well which is another bonus so we're going to fish uh, maybe till about half six something like that that's the plan um, maybe a little bit later if um, things are looking good um, but as you can probably hear I'm all bunged up again I've got <laughs> to manage to pick up another cold one of the kids has brought home from nursery or uh, from school uh, so we're all suffering at home it's not just me um, so excuse the uh, the, the sniffing and the uh, and the bunged up voice. Uh, Weather-wise, it's it's about five degrees. It's not too cold, actually today, which is what prompted me to come. Really, um, overcast sky as you can see. The, the sun is sort of trying to break through a little bit, but it is supposed to get cloudier later, um, which is not good because there's uh, there was a full moon last night. So it'd be nice if the moon was out, uh, which it would be if these clouds weren't around. I always do pretty well with a with a decent moon. Uh, for the predators so um, fingers crossed the clouds will clear um, using the same um, ledger stem setups as if you've seen me using in previous videos um, as I say circle hooks just one circle hook on a wire trace tr tied from uh, Drennan soft strand uh, as I say ledger stem with a big low resistance drum ring at the top um, just to keep all the line out of the way and uh, the rig seem to be uh, do, be doing me well at the moment. So I reckon we've got probably an hour of light left, something like that. Uh, not really expecting the Xander to switch on until it gets dark. Um, although being relatively low light conditions at the moment, you never know. River conditions are looking pretty good, apart from the, the water being relatively cold. Um, we had a bit of rain a couple of days ago, flushed it through. Um, it's back down to sort of fairly low level at the moment. There's about two and a half foot of visibility, two foot, something like that, which is reasonable. Um, no pace on the water at all. But this this is a very wide section of the Avon, as you can see. Um, and being so wide and relatively deep, the water doesn't move much in here anyway, which I think why the predators like it here. There's plenty of bait fish in here as well. Right, I'm going to start waff stop waffling and uh, time for a recast, I think. So, uh, get these rods recast and uh, see if we can't have something out. Well, it's, uh, it's about 20 past four now. Uh, nothing so far, uh, no knocks or anything. Um, sun's setting up behind me up there. Uh, it's just about sunset time, so it's gonna start getting dark fairly rapidly now with this cloud cover we've still got. I'm hoping it'll break up. It's fairly light cloud cover at the moment, but there are some darker patches in it, but uh, hopefully it'll break up and let the, let the moon shine through. That'll be good. Uh, worth mentioning as well, um, I did actually get out on Friday uh, I went to the the small river I've been targeting in the last few weeks. Uh, very hard going though. Uh, water is very low and clear. Really, really could do with some rain. 
Um, had literally two hours down there. Um, I think I got there about half two uh, and I was away by half four. Um, managed to get one bite. <laughs> had a chub out, um, oh, I don't know, only about a pound or so, something like that. Uh, beautiful condition though. Um, but uh, but nothing else to say it's very hard going um, but I did expect we'd had hard frost the night before and as I say the water's water there is, is really too clear to be honest but uh, you know we'll keep at it up there I do really enjoy it we are due some rain this week so we can maybe get out there next weekend um, hopefully it'll fill up a, a bit and uh, colour up and uh, we can have another great session up there like I did the other week but anyway to tonight come on to these preds the uh the water temperature is not as cold as I thought it was going to be at all. It's actually four, um, excuse me, 5.9, and the air temperature is just four and a half degrees now. It's, uh, it's dropping fairly quickly. Um, so it's, as I say, it's not too cold at all. The water, which is good news. Uh, we had decent frost again last night. I thought perhaps it would have knocked it a bit more, but it hasn't, which is which is good news really. So. Uh, Fingers crossed, but as I say, it's very quiet at the moment. <laughs> oh god <laughs> I literally dropped this bait in down here oh I think we might have another take uh, okay <laughs> I think I've got two fish on here um, I've literally dro dro dropped this rod at my feet <laughs> well, I'm sorting the other rod out, and uh, I've got a little pike on. <laughs> Crazy. Right, that's him safely in the net. I think I've got to take on this other rod as well. No, nothing there. Well, as predicted, the uh, <laughs> the uh, sun setting has uh, switched them on. Yeah, a little fella, but very welcome, nonetheless. That's great. 
and obviously uh, we had a run on the other rod as well, the bait's gone, but uh, unfortunately I was a bit busy with this, uh, this fella so I couldn't sort it out. But there you go, that's the way it is isn't it? <laughs> but uh, we've been here about three quarters of an hour now so uh, that's fantastic. Looks like uh, we may have a decent session. <laughs> well guys I was all a bit crazy for a minute. I um, I'd literally, I was, I was just bringing a couple of the rods in to, to swap positions, to swap them over. One got a roach on, one got a melt on and uh, I wanted to swap them over. So I wound the one rod in and uh, rather than put it at the bank uh, and risk sort of stepping on it or whatever, I'd literally just drop the rod in the edge, uh, the bait obviously and the, the lead. Wound the other rod in, I was just sorting it out and I could see the tip banging away. And uh, <laughs> well you saw that little pike. Uh, and while I was playing him, we had a run on the rod that's over on the far side by that snag. Uh, but unfortunately uh, the bait was gone, uh, but unfortunately uh, the fish was gone by the time I picked the rod up. But uh, it's crazy isn't it, you sit here for the uh, best part of an hour and then you get two runs at the same time. <laughs> Very bizarre. Anyway, I've got the rods back out now and uh, it's, it's getting properly dark now, or starting to, so uh, it does seem to have switched the fish on the, uh, the lower light levels. Fantastic, looks like they're having it today. The roll on the far side's off. We're into something. It's not putting up much of a fight though. Another pike, it's not too big. <clears throat> I've just woken up. <laughs> well, guys, there's no monster. But once again, very welcome. <laughs> He's really not very happy at all. <laughs> That's taken on a roach. That's brilliant. I've definitely switched on now. It's uh, it's about five to five, something like that. So uh, we'll get him back, and uh, fingers crossed, we can't have his big brother, big sister. <laughs>
Well guys, we're uh, we're way on this margin, Rod. Definitely off. I think we've uh, got the only line here. <laughs> Zander. Well, guys, wiped out both my other rods. It's a decent scrap. And we've got a Zander. Pretty frisky. I haven't had her uh, resting in the net. What, I've, uh, what we're discovering is fairly standard sort of stamp for in here. Five pound-ish, something like that. That's a, what a fish, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. It's just six o'clock. I was just, uh, just looked at my phone and I thought, six o'clock, it's time to go home. We've had a couple of uh, light showers and I just thought, mm, I'm gonna go home before I get soaking. Last thing I need with this cold. And there we go. Finished on a Xander, fantastic. Really pleased with that. <laughs> lovely condition again, absolutely fantastic. It's very lively. Had me all over the swim. <laughs> there you go, that's about that side as well. Beautiful condition, beautiful. That's great. Right, as I say, I'm off home now. So, uh, just two hours and a bit. Cut the jacks and a, and a Xander, fantastic. Brilliant. So all there is left to do is say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I had a great time. Down here again, the Avon hasn't let me down again. Fantastic. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. And I'll see you again at the weekend.